fuck, guys? What the fuck? What is up with? Welcome back to Kirby and Shay. What are we doing today? We're reading a fanfic of Supernatural. We're going to do a Dean and Reader one, and then a Sam and Reader one. So, you know, if you have preferences, this video is for you. It's for you. I mean, you want we'll, later ones like cats or something? We'll then, be, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's going to happen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Any of our okay, the last one we did, the other fanfic reading we did, I kind of read it and she kind of like acted it out. So it's gonna be a very similar video to that one. We'll link it above. You can check that out because it's a good one. That was Harry Potter fanfic, so we did a really good one. All right, are you ready? I am. It's called Sam X Reader. There's no title. Slight movement next to the younger Winchester startled him awake that night. Glancing over, ready to defend his territory, he found. You. <laughs> it's your name. Do I put in my name? Do I put in your name? Um, Elizabeth. He found Elizabeth. Her clothes were mostly gone. Nothing left but one of his flannels, which was too big. And he prayed shorts. What? <laughs> and he prayed shorts or even underwear beneath. What? Elizabeth? He asked confused to the pitch black room. Sam? She murmured, rolling over at least. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Her eyes never opened as Sam scanned the room, trying to figure out where the heck they were. A hazel-eyed glint gaze landed on a picture, causing shock to cover his features. But that's not possible, he mumbled, under, uh, running a hand through his thick locks of hair. <laughs> thick. He went up, only for Elizabeth to pull him right back down to the giant bed. Don't leave, I'm cold, she was <clears throat> making her arms tightly around his torso. Elizabeth, where are we? Sam questioned, causing her to look up at him totally lost. In our house, dummy, are you drunk? <laughs> she asked with a laugh, her breath <laughs> fanning his tongue chest. <laughs> oh, it's all he it's all he got out, not even answering the question. Just as they got comfortable once again, Elizabeth sprinted to the bathroom, puking up Sam's famous pasta, which they had for dinner. <laughs> Ruining the moment. She's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, are you okay? Sam asked loudly, holding her hair back, trying to be hopeful but totally freaking out on the inside. Shh, don't wake the kids. Oh, they already have kids. <laughs> he was after a while, starting to brush her teeth. What kids? He asked. That's what we're thinking. What kids? What kids? <laughs> he asked, now perplexed. That's what was really going on. Sam Winchester, are you you are drunk, aren't you? She exclaimed, slapping his shoulder. The triplets! Oh my god, he doesn't have just kids, he has fucking triplets. <laughs> he shrugged, not knowing what to say. Walking back out past her wedding photo, sitting on the bed, Elizabeth came out and pushed him down. Oh <laughs> <laughs> No you have to work tomorrow, but maybe you can take it off. <laughs> <laughs> she whispered against his lips. My work, he asked, his eyes widening. You're a lawyer. She trailed off with him to his hazel eyes and he lost them. You are drunk. Pushing him away, she got up, going to her side of the bed. Elizabeth, I'm sorry, but he was cut off by the door opening. Sam got ready to fight any monster that came in, as Elizabeth wasn't even faced, and a little girl around four came from in. Mm-hmm. Mommy, Daddy, I had a Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> She mumbled, crying in between them both. Ah, uh, sweetie, it's okay, we're here. Elizabeth reassured, stroking the little girl's hair. What was it about? It was so scary, mommy. <laughs> there was this yellow-eyed man, and he... Yellow-eyed man? Sam asked as it caught his attention. At this point, he was freaking out. The yellow-eyed demon had been dead for years. He told me that I was special, then I woke up, she cried. And that's not even the scariest part. Oh. Okay. <laughs> They would not say, and that's not even the scariest part. Four year olds don't say shit like that. <laughs> and ran a hand down his face, not knowing what to do or even where he was. <laughs> so he slowly fell asleep as the others did too. Sam woke up hearing sobbing coming from the bathroom. His eyes peeled open as he and him went toward the town. Elizabeth, are you okay? He asked. Imagine him saying that in like a million years. Moving on. He asked a gentle knock on the door. 
Before he even got a reply, the door flew open and there she was with a tear-stained face. No, she mumbled, bursting into more sobs. We can't afford our four kids. Oh, we can't afford four kids. Sam's arms were now firmly placed on her waist as his head was on top of hers. I thought we only had triplets. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Who fucking called it? I called it. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> that was when Sam woke up to a slap in the face. <laughs> Ow! He exclaimed as I slide open to see Dean standing there. Sam, yeah, well thank god you're okay. I thought the gin the got you for a minute. Dean exclaimed, slapping him on the shoulder. A gin? Sam asked, looking around the old warehouse. Wow! So what did you see? Dean asked seriously. Was it Jessica? Yeah, Sam lied, not wanting to tell his brother that he saw himself with Elizabeth. Well, let's go home. Elizabeth is waiting in the car. Dean explained, causing Sam's breath to hitch. Being around Elizabeth now would just be awkward, as he finally found his love for her. Dean good. <laughs> An awkward oh, oh, twist! Walking out of the car, Sam got in the passenger side, sighing with relief that everything was back to normal. Everything was okay. Sam, we're here! exclaimed Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh, wait. Elizabeth. <laughs> ah, I'm away! Oh, Erm, um, thanks. He mumbled, grabbing all of his stuff. Making his way through the <laughs> way downtown, walking <laughs> back. Making his way through the door, Sam went straight to his bed, going to one, going to sleep once again. <laughs> going once, <laughs> going once, going once twice. So, Sam's bed. <laughs> I had that. Me too, man. He woke up yelling in the middle of the night. Then his door opened. Slowly grabbing the gun from his pillow, Sam pointed it at none other than Elizabeth. Let a tear filled face. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> you are in a relationship with Dean. Elizabeth, he asked concerned, putting the gun back under his pillow. What are you doing here? Can I stay the night in here? Well, Dean and I got into a fight, and then he ended up saying he loved Pi more than me. So now I guess we're broken up. <laughs> Dad was scooted to one side of the bed, leaving just enough room for her on the bed as he patted the spot gently. Oh my god. Whoops. Lay down getting comfortable, still having a few straight tears snake down her cheeks. Thanks, Sam, she mumbled, closing her eyes. He scanned his eyes scanned the beauty in front of him. Now wishing that the dream thing was true, he knew it wasn't and would probably never be. Then Sam took over half the bed and yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth and her his body were close. Real close. <laughs> you couldn't even slide a piece of paper between them. She thought to be that was the way they wanted it. Sam would never do that to you. No. <laughs> Sam, stop, Elizabeth. Why <laughs> well, can't I tickle my girlfriend? He asked, hovering over her. Because I'm trying to pack, she mumbled. After things got rid of Dean seeing his brother day, that <coughs> Sam decided to buy a house, the same house from his dream. He was beyond happy that everything was falling into place. But two years later, they newly wedded with triplets on the way, not even knowing it yet. Their lives are falling into place, everything was perfect. Till the yellow eyed demon shows up, back from the dead, things got a little complicated. Bam, I want to continue reading it. But these are just one shots, so it doesn't really matter. There's no more story. Fucking yellow eyed demon shows back up, back from the dead. See, Sam, see what you did. You started the cycle over again. Sorry, Anna mumbled with her eye color eyes locking with Dean's apple green ones. Oh, what color are her eyes? What color are Anna's eyes? Oh! <laughs> um, why they do it like that? Hazel. I'm sorry. Anna mumbled with her hazel eyes locking me in the <laughs> Anna, it's not your fault. Dean explained, struggling against the chain once again. It's only what? caused his hopes to <laughs> chain more. Yeah! <laughs> activated quickly. <laughs> Anna never replied as she listened to the bomb tick right behind her body. No! <laughs> Castiel, please, we need you. She prayed once again. Dang it, he's not answering, Anna explained, causing Dean to sigh. Dean needs to ask. Real though. Cash out of my ass. <laughs> That's because the place is probably warden, Dean explained. Warden? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was gone for a minute. I thought it was like <laughs> wards. <laughs> Ward dead, not warden. <laughs>
I can't believe this is how I'm gonna die. Some stupid demon. <clears throat> Dean, you knew this is how you're gonna die. Dean, <laughs> we're gonna make it out of this. Have a. She stopped mid sentence, not wanting to say this anymore. Have what? He finally. He asked finally to open up his blood stained face. She mm. opened her mouth to speak, only to have a demon walk back in. Why is this, like, giving me Crowley vibes? Hello, lovebirds. <laughs> he smirked, looking at Lit. He smirked looking at eyes landing on Anna. That is not... He smirked his eyes landing on Anna. What do you want? Oh. What do you want? Dean's get started even more. <clears throat> not you, but maybe a little slice of her. He snarled looking Anna's way. She, he's British now. <laughs> her eyes widened in fear. She tried to get away, however it seemed to be no use. They were <laughs> They were trapped and most likely... And would most likely die there. Dean yelled venom, dripping from his voice. He yanked against the chains, <laughs> kicking his legs, anything that would stop the demon from doing God knows what. It's like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> action! Action! <laughs> I could give you all the pain in the world, however, wait. I can give you all the pain in the world, however, that would not be equal to the mental pain after this. The demon exclaimed as he knelt down face to face with Anna. <laughs> Action! I, uh, her eyes were glued shut as tears slowly seeped. <laughs> I cry, he over now, Dean. Now Dean's cuss words fill in the room. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the demon went to kiss Anna, although she turned her head the other way, so he got the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you do it? <laughs> Come on, Anna, he whispered, his disgusting breath fanning her face. Ew. <laughs> Go suck a truck, you crap on toast, demon. What? <laughs> I don't know. Go suck a truck, you crap on toast, demon. <laughs> she snarled. <laughs> The demon didn't know what to say as she turned I would know what to say once again. Stop, he yelled angrily, grabbing her face and forcefully kissing her. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she tried pushing him away, yet it had been no use. I'll give you anything, just stop, Dean whimpered from behind them. The eldest Winchester never wanted to beg, although now he had been desperate. I would take you up on that offer. I would take you up on that offer. The demon let out a rattling laugh. Please stop, she whimpered, trying to get away from her. Him? Him? <laughs> Don't you want this? He asked with a smirk. She shook her head furiously, no. Ow, I got a head from that. <laughs> but from what I've seen from a thought, is that you love someone like Dean. I'm everything Dean is, but Hunter, you will love me. The demon exclaimed in June 13th. I only love Dean, Anna whispered. Just then, Me the too. demon <laughs> jumped off at Anna. Fuck! <laughs> Something stiff is about you, he murmured, getting off of her. The demon scanned her many times before his face showed shock. Your, your. He couldn't even get the words out as the smirk grew larger in his face. Wow, I wasn't expecting this one, though. Hey. She's bringing two. <laughs> that seemingly, when everyone's face grew in shock, Dean couldn't get any words out. Well, I think that's even better. I'll hurt Dean even more. The demon came closer. He started to unbutton her shirt as she tried kicking him off. He sat right on her legs. Anna, now fully on, yes. saw me. <laughs> well, you can <laughs> see. <laughs> it's not more like laughing than sobbing. <laughs> well, you can hear Dean pulling against the chain. Just as her shirt had been ripped fully off, Sam burst through the door. Stop! He yelled, he helped, yelled with the demon blade in hand. Oh, please, I'm not scared of that too thick. However, before you can finish, Sam jabbed the end blade right through his neck. <laughs> Have fun being stuck in there. If you move, the bomb will go off and you'll be blown to bits. Had been his dying breath, his last dying breath as the demon dropped it. Everyone stood shocked at Sam, went over and doing Dean's chains. What are we gonna do? Sam asked, running his hands through his Disney princess hair. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Uh, Anna started to cry as Dean tried his best to comfort her. Anna, we're gonna get you out of here. Sam knows how to disable a bomb. Dean comforted her, rubbing her shoulder. I do? Sam asked, confused, looking at the big 
metal thing stuck to the back of the chair, and I had curly been sat in. <laughs> Dean gave him the face. The face! <laughs> Damn naughty, I quickly got to work. Bean! Bean! <laughs> That's what it says. Dean and Anna's daughter Cass exclaimed, squirming in her mother's arms. Of course, they named her after the angel Cassiel. Well, I'm sorry, sweetie. He should be back for a couple of days. I'm explaining, explaining, setting her down. Bean, bean, bean. Okay. Bean, bean, bean. Cat chanted. Ever since Anna once the time called Bean his real name in front of her instead of Dad, she mistook him for Bean instead of Dean. I'm sorry, honey. Anna mumbled, running her hand down her face. She had been very tired, and Cass never wanted to go to sleep, and we never showed up. <coughs> She had been very tired and never wanted to go to sleep and would never shut up. It also made things worse with Dean being gone and she could never fall asleep very well without his arms being around her. Bean, mommy, I want to be. Cass exclaimed, rolling across the carpet. The cat, sweetie. Bean won't be home. She could. She was cut off by the door of Bean. Bean! Cass yelled, jumping up and running as fast as she could towards the door. <laughs> Hey there, Dean smiled, looking her up into his arms. Bean, she yelled happily, her face resting on his shoulder. Hi, Bean, Anna said, giving him a peck on her lips. Peck on the lips. Yo, mommy, Cat said, covering her eyes. Good chance, Dean sat her down and she ran to play. What are you doing home so early? Anna asked Dean, giving him an even longer kiss. The hurt turned out to just be... Oh, the hunt turned out to be just people. He grumbled, <laughs> what a waste of my time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came now. Anna mumbled against his lips. Now you're all mine. With that, the rest of the night turned into a happy blur after they dropped off Cass at Sam's house. Then nine months later, another baby had been born. They're just like, hey, Sam, you want to babysit so we can... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. Those are good. I like these things. So, definitely got to do a cast one. That's not a child, because that tricks me out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is he going ding, ding, ding? <laughs> but it's my own. Bean, bean, bean. I mean, he totally would. If they had a kid and they called him, they called him Bean, Cass would call him Bean. bean. <laughs> <laughs> he told him, like, hey, Bean. Like, <laughs> thanks for watching and listening and laughing with us. Mm -hmm. Was the last one? Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> With us. We're also going to be doing Philly and Stu from the original Scream fanfic reading, so I'll shout for that one. And if you have any other ones you want us to read, then I can Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> I choose violence. Because if a big thumbs up, subscribe and share, and subscribe to our individual channels, everything will be linked below. Down there. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye.